Hey guys, what's going on? It is Monday, June 24th, 2024. And um, nothing changes if nothing changes. So if you continue to do the same things, you're gonna get the same results. Um, you continue to go out drinking and partying, you're never gonna get ahead. If you keep on messing with fast women uh, or fast guys, whatever the case may be, things are never gonna change. Um, actually, things can actually get worse. Um, if you don't start saving money, things are not going to change. Um, if you don't start cutting things out of your life, things are not going to change. So things don't change if things don't change. Nothing changes if you don't change. You have to make uh, hard decisions sometimes. When you want something, you got to really figure out, is this something I really want and need? And do your due diligence on these things. You cannot continue to live the same lifestyle if you ever want to get ahead. Um, I advise everybody to save up money and um, at least try saving up your first $10,000. I promise you, when you hit that milestone, life does get easier for you if you just don't blow this money. And yes, to a lot of people, $10,000 isn't a lot of money. But for some people, $10,000 actually buys you a lot of freedom, especially if you're at a job. Um, now you can start to say no to things. Um, you don't have to work um, the weekends because you have that money put away. You can just work your 40 hours. Um, you don't feel enslaved to do some things. So once you save up that amount of money and even more, the word no becomes so much easier to use. Um, you're not forced to do overtime because sometimes you, you have to do it because you want the money. And uh, if, once you know you have that little bit of money, you can uh, say no and you can buy some more of your own time back because that's what wealth is in this new world is having your own time. If you're always broke and you're working 50, 60 hours a week, you're selling your time for money. And we all do it. Everybody, everybody works and has some type of job and sells their time away for money. But the goal is to have more of your own time for yourself. So guys, I advise you to please start saving it's gonna make your life so much easier, um, especially when you have an emergency, something breaks down or a family member needs some help and you wanna be able to be there. You don't wanna be the family member that can never help out you know, and be the family member that's always begging. Um, sometimes you wanna be the family member that actually helps out. Like, hey, this person pulled me out of a bind. And I'm not saying to be everybody's savior because you can't be everybody's savior. You gotta help yourself before you help anybody else. But the thing is, have your ducks in a row, um, have some money saved up and make sure that you're okay if something does happen because jobs will let you go in a heartbeat regardless of how long you've been with them, they'll let you go. It could be, I can walk in right now. I got, my shift starts at uh, 9 a.m., it's 8.30 now. I can walk into my job and my job can be like, hey, we no longer need your services. And if I don't have something put away and I don't have something to fall back on, I'm done. And um, I have children, I have a wife, so I have to make sure that these things are covered one way or the other. And um, like I said, nobody's gonna feel bad for you. You have to step up and uh, you gotta make sure that you got these things covered. And the older you get, the more important it becomes to be financially um, stable because um, I'm not as young as I used to be. Um, I can't go as hard as I used to. I can't work those 60 hour weeks. I probably could, I don't want to. So that makes it even more of a, an emergency for me to put away money and look out for myself because I don't want to run myself into the ground like that anymore. Um, if anything, I want to try to cut back on work and that's one of the things that thank God that um, saving money has um, allowed me to do. I, I have uh, cut down from 40 hours to 32 hours for a while just to um, get some rest up on my body and stuff. And then I went back to 40, 40 hours. And uh, soon enough, I'll probably go right back to 32 hours. My job, hey, I only want to work Tuesday through Friday. And uh, that way, I can rest up my body again. And that's what um, saving money has allowed me. It's allowed me some freedom. Cause I can I can say that, I, hey, I don't wanna work Monday, that's fine. Oh, but 
you're not gonna get your 40 hours, that's fine. I'll do. I'll take 32 hours. And right there, I get a three day weekend. I get to spend more time with my kids, more times, more time with my wife. Like I said, buy your own freedom, guys. And the way to buy your own freedom is to save money. You cut back on things. You don't need a car payment. You don't need the newest car. Your car don't need rims. You want rims. You don't need them. So sometimes when you when you take the things that you don't really need and get them, there's going to be a sacrifice and there's going to be everything comes, every reaction comes with a reaction. You buy those rims, maybe next week that same car you put rims on breaks down and then you don't have the money. And what, where'd the money go? Oh, I spent it on rims. How do you explain that to your wife? And when she needs a ride to work every every day and now your car is down, but it got a nice uh, set of shiny rims on it, doesn't it? Yep. So let's stop hustling backwards, guys. You know what I'm saying? Let's get our financial wealth going. Uh, like I said, uh, I'm pulling for all you guys out there. I'm pulling for myself. Let's get things set and in order and let's survive this, man. And like I said, I'm going to check you on the next one. And I'll have some more jewels for you on the next one. Peace out, guys.